Hi, my name is Ruman Khan. In this video, I'll be showing how to add throttling policy in MuleSoft API Manager. I've currently logged in into AnyPoint platform and I'm at API Manager. I already have an API Manager setup, which is pointing to this particular endpoint. And currently it doesn't have any policies configured. Let's try to hit the endpoint. So as you can see, I can hit this endpoint any number of times. So what I really want to do is add a throttling policy to this particular API to limit attempts on calling this API. So let's go back on API manager and apply new policy, select throttling. So we can see there are a couple of default values here, like the delay time in milliseconds as 10,000, which is 10 seconds and delay attempts is five. So what it really means is you can have maximum of five attempts before the request would fail and every retry would have a 10 second gap in it. So now let's try to limit number of requests. So let me say uh, select three and time period. And I want to say 15 and time unit as seconds. So I'm saying limit three requests in a time period of 15 seconds. And for delay attempts, let me just say two attempts and delay time in milliseconds since it is the delay time between the retries. So instead of 10 seconds, I would say maybe two seconds. Apply. So let's go back to the API and try the same thing again. This was my first attempt, second, third. And now it should say API calls exceeded. So as you see, it tried twice with a two, two uh, seconds gap in between and finally gave up since our throttling limit is set to only three requests in 15 seconds. Now let's, let's see the same thing in Postman to see what kind of headers it is sending us. Okay, so let's paste the URL and hit send. So this was my first attempt, second attempt, third attempt, and now the fourth attempt is going to take four seconds before it gives up, right? And we see a status code of 429 indicating too many requests. And in the headers, there's a X rate limit header as three, rate limit remaining zero, rate limit reset 1926. So this basically, these headers are automatically sent by API manager, which indicates like, what is my limit and how many do I have remaining? So if you try this again, you can see the rate limit remaining two, then one, zero, and now it should give me an error saying API calls exceeded. Yep, as you saw, we were able to uh, quickly apply a throttling policy to uh, and protect the API from any DDoS attacks or clients hitting the continuously hitting your API and uh, trying to bring your system down. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.